Hi guys, in 2023, Lego decided to remake the 1989 Pirate Classic out of Rhino Fortress. The new fortress is a modular build with classic yellow and white ward pieces. I've decided to create the Eldorado Lighthouse from two sets of the Beach Catamaran. The lighthouse sits on the hazardous shores near the entrance of the harbour. On high tide, most of the sandbanks are submerged, making the waterways very dangerous for Imperial ships. Um, the model is 40 centimeters tall and 15.7 inches. I started with the idea of utilizing hinge plates to create an yeah, enclosed structure. Hinge plates because uh, they're available on the beach camper van, so they open up the doors. However, after I start building the base, I realized there's simply not enough pieces to build it. So I scrapped that idea and fell back to a simple structure with the open back for play. A small jetty is built using dark orange pieces using from suitcase. Two small dinghies are used to bring supplies and replacement soldiers due to the shallowness of the water on the shores. The lighthouse is built on a rocky platform. I'm using quite a lot of small smoke pieces and tile pieces to show um, the rock structure. The base of the castle is yellow, like the classic Lego color scheme. However, I was surprised that I didn't actually have enough yellow bricks. So I have to use um, the mud guards from the camper van vehicle. So as, as you can see here on the back, and I've added a modified plate to represent them as shelves inside the building. And on, on our side, you can see these nougat pieces. They create a nice pattern, um, brick pattern on the front. The, one of the mudguard pieces I used to create a portico um, for the front door. One corner of the lighthouse is straight bricks, which leads up to the lighthouse tower. As you can see, I use um, some white tiles to show patchworks on the walls. White battlements are added to give defense capabilities and visually match the outer fortress. The Imperious soldier quarters are on the ground floor. With shelves and with you know banners on each side, red banners and some um, bench tops on the side, and the gatekeeper's quarters are on the first floor with tiled pieces, and a bit of kitchen and some small furnitures are on the other two levels of the lighthouse tower, a bed, maybe a, a desk with a candle. Um, the cameraman sets come with um, these short letters, so I. So I put them there, so I guess the kids, when they play with it, they can jump and climb to different levels. And here's some snot te techniques to add some decoration to the walls. As you can see here, round tan plates, reddish brown plates, and ten, here's ten plates. Those, those are combined to create exposed brickworks uh, where the white plaster on the walls has been cracked. And also, um, so there's one, two, three, four of those, and also one, two, three, four. So they break up the white monotonous walls, and also, you know, helps with these extra pieces to build up um, the tower. Two, two red stripes on the tower gives high visibility during the daytime for the sailors going to the harbour. I've used up all the red bricks, and luckily I had just had enough to do two red stripes for one by one corner tiles to show patchwork on the on the walls and on the top level the tower corners are round because that's what pieces I have and also shows and the structure getting smaller as they go up to save the weight. Ladders fences um, and I would cut out slopes so they, they form the railing on the top level. Trans clear panels form the lantern house and we have these modified and bricks, red, yellow, and trans orange slopes to represent the lantern light. And down to the beach, there's uh, palm trees again. These are the palm trees here. Two palm trees from the official set. The design of water is um, built using the official set as well. I had a lot of mid azure bricks left, and plus also other pieces that are suitable for making cars like tires, wheels, uh, wind, wind screens. So I decided to build a beetle looking like car with oversized wheel arches and lots of slope pieces. And you can sit two minifigures 
behind each other. Simple. My son plays with the car and he imagines the lighthouse as a modern day tourist attraction. And people drive in to check it out. And those Imperial soldiers, oh by the way, they are not included in the set. They are from my own Imperial flagship, but they are used to show the scale of the building. The model is quite sturdy, you just hold handle, you can lift it up here, you can move it around to different desks. Pretty much you just hold it on the first floor. Here's the lighthouse in comparison to my Grand Castle alternative build using two sets of the Mega Castle. And so it's, it's actually a bit taller, but obviously very shallow in comparison to the castle. And here's my two sets of the pirate ship, Barracuda and the Imperial Light Ship. They are even bigger than this. They're a lot taller. So I didn't so I didn't want to include them in the video because they oversize the lighthouse. So if you like my design, please click like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. My the instructions for this design is on rubricable.com, links below. The next part of the video is animation of the lighthouse. And thank you for watching.